For question number three, as a motivational speaker, how can someone start out on a journey in that field and what makes a great speech in your opinion? What well, makes a great, you know, what makes a great speech and is number one is being real. Um, don't be a, don't be a furu. And a furu is a term I heard, which is a, instead of saying a guru is people that are fake when they're doing that. They basically use other people's stories and they're, they want to, they want to get out there and they, they want to stand on a, on a, on a soapbox. Um, so be real because what's going to allow you to attract an audience is number one is being relatable. You have to be relatable. Number two is you have to has to be an element of likability. Okay. Likability is going to be, is going to be critical. Number three is honesty is just be honest. I think there's more to lose one, you know, and that, again, this is where the ego kicks in. The ego kicks in says, well, I better not share all my dirty laundry. Cause that's going to, that's going to affect, or someone's going to look at me the wrong way. If that's what you're thinking, you should be even being a motivational speaker. Mm. Right. Definitely. Uh, I'm a firm believer that my vulnerability is my superpower. And this is why I've been asked to speak on so many different stages and different podcasts, because I'm, I'm really honest. And I say, like, I take extreme ownership. Hey, I had a marriage dissolution. I hit rock bottom. I had all this. I take extreme ownership of it. I'm not there pointing the finger at the government saying, Hey, you guys did this and it's affecting men or, or, or lawyers or whatever it is. I take extreme ownership because again, I'm the only I'm the only, uh, I'm the only thing I can have control over. So if someone wants to become a motivational speaker is number one is find out what makes you relatable. Storytelling. Everybody has a story. Every, actually, somebody told me this. Everybody has a scar on their body with every scar on their body. There's a story to tell. So we have to tell stories and shares. You know, you, you look at like, what, um, all, I have mentors all over the world. And what made me sign on with them and get mentored by them was them being honest with me and sharing their scars because it allowed me to say, hey, they're relatable. I get this. I'm not the only person going through this. Brilliant. Other, other aspects of it is don't, you know, social media is, is free. Post Instagram videos. There could be something that you're going to say to someone that's going to trigger them and change their lives. Like, I mean, I have had people reach out to me and said, you saved my life. I've had people reach out to me saying, because of a podcast you did, I quit smoking. I'm like, I've never talked about smoking in my podcast. And they said, there was something in there that you, it hit me and I, and I had to do this. I've had people reach out to me and say, thank you. I stopped being a little bitch. And that's what they write themselves on. Uh, right? That's what they tell themselves because <laughs> of something I said, right? So, and I mean, I, I'm not coming up with this stuff. I'm regurgitating it from my mentors, right? I'm just sharing it. Um, and so that'd be my advice is again, be real, be honest, be relatable, be relatable. Uh, likability is going to be there. Um, and I'll tell the audience is don't be a little bitch. 